Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a scenario related to communication site or your intranet where content managers actually maintain the content over the communication site or your company's intranet and they want to have some quick sort of preview feature which they can leverage just to view how the site would look like uh, for the visitors, for the read-only rights people, not for them. For example, if I open this site, which is a communication site, I could see there is added buttons. I can have feature of adding list, adding news directly, creating items into this manager list. So this confuses a lot of content managers that uh, even they don't feel confident once they create the content, how that is going to look, look, look for a visitor, how the image is, how the title would going to look like. And all these added and EDs buttons would be uh, invisible for them or would be hidden. So to make them feel comfortable, to make them feel confident, I am just giving you one of the one tip today, how you can create one switch profile feature into your intranet site or your communication site, which your content managers can leverage just to look at the site, how this is going to look for visitors. So right now you can see I have added one button over here. So though like it's vanilla button, we can have uh, intuitive pro, uh, icons over here, which can actually tell switch profile uh, feature to your content managers. And on clicking of that button, it should load up the site with visitors permissions, visitors right, how visitors are going to look at this site. So if I click on it, and uh, in, this is intentional switch profile flow is called. So we are going to work with the flow to make this happen. And once it's clicked, it reloaded now the site is loaded as a visitor so you can see i don't have any more capability of adding news there is entire uh, toolbox for new pages new list has been removed this is the even in the list i cannot see any more the new or added buttons it's just the share button i could see and as in same with the quick links i could just see the link without adding a new button so this is how you can give a capability to your content managers, content owners, where they can create content and can look the content instantly with this switch profile feature. Now we get to how you are going to build this switch profile. So if you are already working with SPFX, then of course you can create any SPFX extension and have that button uh, laid anywhere just like feedback feedback is again in a uh, application customizer with spfx extension so you can create it if you are not working with spfx then you can leverage one script editor which i am going to tell you right now that's a pnp script editor you can insert that script editor any uh, where like where, wherever you wish to on your top side page and you can bind some quick code to it it's a small very easy to co uh, code to understand, I'll tell you. And on click of this button, I would be calling my flow, Power Automate, which will actually do the operation of switching the profile. So this is the objective of this video, which I'm going to tell you. So first part is I'm going to show you what code I have written over here. So I'll just quickly switch back my profile to owner so that I can add it this web part and can show you. So for the sake of demo, I don't wish to create any SPFX extension or application customizer because in my past video, I have uh, given multiple demonstration where how you can quickly create the application customizers. But in this video, I'm going to leverage the uh, modern script editor. If I edit this page, you will find it. So this is the modern script editor. And if you wish to just download, you can just Google PNP script editor and you can find the latest version of PNP script editor SV pack package directly over here and once you download that package you need to go to your site and I'll just republish it you need to go to your site go to the site content and if you have enabled your apps for SharePoint so those users who are not much familiar with the SharePoint development you may need to ask your a SharePoint administrator to enable the app catalog for your SharePoint site collections. So once it's enabled, you need to just upload the SPV package file you downloaded from uh, from the link which I have told you, and you can just 
need to upload it enable it that's it so once it's done then you have to go to add an app and from this app page you just need to click on the modern script editor add so right now it's added so that's why the add button is not coming so once it's new then you have the add button then once you click on it it will add to the your site and then you can go back to your site add it your page wherever you wish to put that modern script editor insert it for example if i just click on this one I, if i search for modern script editor it will come like this so once you click it you will have this uh, modern script editor add it like this so when you once you click on this edit markup you will get this option where the html added html code so over here we are going to paste some code which i have written so i'll open this uh, javascript code it's a very minimal 20 30 line of code so i'll open that in visual studio code so that you can look at a in a better way so this code does nothing much but checking who is the current user getting the details of the current user and if you are a developer then it's very easy for you to understand i'm making a jx call for api web current user it's a rest call which will give me the data or the success result for that particular currently logged in person and getting that id and the email of that person i am just calling one more get current user group call uh, call information which will actually check the membership of my current user so it will actually making a call to get user by id and groups it will list down all the groups for my current user and i am checking that if a user is a part of member group or owner group like it it includes if the group name includes this then that means i wish to switch the profile to read switch profile to read and if it's a not a part of member or owner group that means i wish to uh, switch the profile to owner back and just ignore this anchor tag as of now so it's actually it's a button which is calling switch flow with a, some link so this link is a power automate http incoming request link so we are going to build out this power automate quickly and once that power automate is built out we'll be replacing this entire string with that uh, newly http received incoming request and we are going to append these parameters current user email and which sort of right we want to maintain into our this uh, power automate so just for now like uh, just forget about this we'll come back to this part again once we build out that power automate so that's where like uh, if you wish to do any privileged operation so it's better way to go to a flow which would be called on any button action or button click or anchor click so that's what we are going to do so i'm just going back to my site and republishing it for now and now we'll start working with power automate we'll create a quick power automate i'll just go back to make.powerautomate.com and we are going to build up one flow which can be called on the button click of this action which we did just now so i am going to start creating one power automate that is instant cloud flow and trigger i am going to skip for now and we'll search for trigger when an http request is received so it's a premium trigger so you may want to do this operation with your flow account uh, per flow license account not with you individual users so you can do that and in the who can trigger the flow i would say anyone can trigger it and ur will be generate, generated after once we save this flow and in show advance we would be using method as get and in next step we'll be using one action parseJSON because i wish to extract the queries out of my this http request received link so as i said like if i go back to my code you will see the link which i am calling for power automate is having the query parameter as current user email and what kind of write i am switching to so these parameters i am going to uh, read from the query string so i just go back to my power automate and i'll just add one parse json so that i can read out the string with the query parameter which i am getting out of my link I'll just say parse JSON 
and in this content I will use the expression as trigger output trigger output and in uh, square brackets I'll use queries so that I can get the query parameter out of it and in the sample generate from sample I will write my two properties over there so one is current user and the second property I wish to have is writes so write I'll just copy this have my second property the sample that some create a sample from so right now these two properties I'll get out of my this parses and stuff so now I can save it and I can uh, run it once directly from copying the link so over here this link is generated for me I'll just copy this link and paste it in my notepad Right now, I'll just append my add my query parameters current user. Let's say any temporary email address you can use, and the other parameter as write equal to read. I'll just copy this entire URL which we constructed for our Power Automate, and we'll just hit that into one of our browser. And if I go back, as soon as I hit this URL, so I will see one instance should be triggered over here. So we got this one instance triggered. And if I click on parse JSON, so I will see this query parameter which I passed is being retrieved as a JSON over here. So I can use them in the my subsequent steps. So my next subsequent step would be, I will have this current user added to my owner or content manager group and if the write is read then I would just remove that user the current user from this uh, owner group and if it's owner write then we'll add it so it's a if condition we are going to write it I'm using condition and from parsejson write equal to owner and I'll add the current user to the owner group so groups are these SharePoint groups we are talking about so this came uh, KSCOM site owner and KM site member so I can go to this owner group and can look at the group member ID as 3 because we are going to use this I switch back to my this power automate again and we'll use the send HTTP action to SharePoint activity so that we can add the current user to the owner group all right so i'll add my site it's game kscom site and the operation would be post in the uri i have written into notepad and i'll directly copy this uri so this is api website groups get by id id of the group so now it's three for us and i'll just have this paste it over here and in the headers I'll switch to JSON and add this JSON the copied part of JSON so that we need not to write it back so accept application JSON over it our post and in the body I'll copy the over here so right now you can see I have metadata type SP user login name so login name appended with the email address we are going to do so I'm just copying this initial part and we'll add the current user email address as a dynamic part so I'll just say body paste it and in this login name I'll just append that with the output of my previous parse session as current user so that the login name can be constructed so this is how I can add the person current user or the past user from queries query string to my SharePoint group owner I'll just copy the same activity and I'll go to the if branch now this time we are going to remove the user so I'll just add the copied one but we'll change the endpoint to remove the user from the owner group I will expand it everything would be same but the remove endpoint would be changed so 
so I can just copy this remove endpoint site group get by ID the users remove by login name again I need to change the user group ID which is 3 for owner so I'll just copy this entire endpoint and paste my entire endpoint over here and in the body we have to pass the login name which needs to be removed so again I'll just copy this login name and I will paste remove everything paste it construct the login name from my parse session uh, output of current user so now this is constructed so I have two send HTTP account one to add to the owner group another to remove the owner group so that's how we can add manage add a user to a specific content manager owner group and remove them so I'll just now copy uh, the URL which we have constructed now I'll save it and we'll just rename it as switch profile workflow and save it now I will go back to my code and I will remove or change this entire string uh, which is a link to my HTTP request it's a previous flow so I'll just update this with the new flow which we have just written I'll just paste it and I'm going to do that for the other links as well so I'll try to paste this entire code into description so that you can directly use this code if you are not familiar with the uh, SPFX then you can just simply paste this code into your modern script editor and you would be working on it so I'll just save it copy it and go back to my and edit this one I'll just click on edit markup pick my existing code replace with the new code save it publish it again and right now it's because I am into owner or member group so that's why it's saying this member uh, this showing add and everything now I'm clicking on switch profile to read so my switch profile workflow called power automate is called and now I converted or I started seeing that as a visitor there is no added or new add buttons so that's how in 10 15 minutes we have achieved we have created this feature of switch profile between owners so the content managers can build the content with confidence can look at the con content as a visitor so this is how the, with this small trick small usage of power automate with http received requests you can build out this entire feature if you have any questions if you have any other comments then please do drop your comments i try to read and answer and that's it thank you so much